Okay, hello everybody. This is the Try Hack Me um, Nmap room, and we're going to be going through. I'm not going to go through all the questions. It's just going to be working on the practical and seeing how we get all these correct answers. So let's get started. Um, to make sure that this is working for you, you need to make sure that both your attack box has been deployed, and then also you want to right here, you want to deploy the actual active machine IP that we're going to be trying to um, and map into. So once you've done both of those things, let's go down here. And so the first thing that's asking us to do is see if we can ping the target. So that's pretty easy. All that you do there is you just type in ping.10. For me, this will be different for you. Again, you get this number. Sorry, mine's 206. You get this number right here. It takes a few minutes for this to deploy. Once you start the machine, wherever there is this green symbol um, in the tutorial, that's where you can actually start the machine. It takes it a few minutes um, and then you'll finally, once it's activated, you will get an IP address and that's what you'll be using in these tutorials. So let's go back to the practical section. So I'm just going to ping 10.10.63.206 and we'll see what happens. And so it's pinging, it says that it's pinging, but nothing is happening. So that was why does it respond to ICMP ping requests? The answer is no, okay? So to end this, we're just gonna push control and then C, and gotta make sure my cursor's back in there. Control C and that ends. And so again, it shows 21 packets were transmitted in that time, zero were received. So it does not accept the ping request. Okay, so the next thing that we're gonna do is perform a Christmas scan on the first 999 ports of the target. How many ports are shown to be open or filtered? So to do this, you go nmap, and the code for the Christmas scan is SX, and we wanna designate the ports. We wanna choose one through 999. I did this wrong the first time because I think in binary and I put zero to 999 and it gave me the incorrect answer. And then we wanna put the machine code of um, that you're trying to tap into. So again, mine was 10.10.63.206, but of course yours will be again found up here at the top once you deploy your machine. So once we have done that, hit enter. It's starting the end map. It takes a few moments. And here it shows you that all of them are opened. And then the next question is, um, is there any reason given for this? What is it? And so on this simple Christmas scan that we did, Xmas scan, um, it's not really giving us a specific reason. It says open filtered. I tried to put that in at first and that wasn't correct. So they give us a little bit of a hint here. So let's pull this up so you can see. And the hint is run this command with the VV means verbosity. So increase the verbosity, it'll tell us more. So we're gonna run the scan again, okay? And this time we're gonna go nmap sx, designate the ports, one through 999, whoops. And actually I'm gonna put the verbose right here. and then put the attack box address, not the attack box, the machine. Okay, so it's doing the scan. Okay, so now we can see it's given us a lot more information. It says all 999 scan ports are open filtered because of no responses. So I tried to put in no responses exactly how it was written there. Um, but it actually requires this syntax right here to type it in as no response that way. And then that got you the correct answer. So let's go on to the next section. It is perform a TCP SYN scan on the first 5,000 ports of the target. How many ports are shown to be open? So since it's getting a little um, busy here, I'm just going to clear the screen and now we can do a TCP scan. So I'm going to do Nmap and the TCP scan is S capital T, and then we're gonna designate the ports, and we're gonna do the first 5,000. It didn't say top 5,000. 
he said first 5,000. That would be a completely different scan. So I did one to 5,000, and now I need to do the machine IP, which is 10.10.63.206. I'm just gonna check that for me. Again, that is my correct um, IP address to be using. And you should use your own different machine IP that corresponds to yours. So let's run this. Okay, and so it shows us the open ports. And so it's asking us how many are shown to be open. So we've got one, two, three, four, five that are open. So we just put the answer there as five. Okay, so this next one is a little bit more complicated. Um, it tells you to go look at the Wireshark room. I'm gonna leave that for you guys because no answer is needed for there on that. But we're gonna talk about deploying the FTP a non-script, how to do that. So this was a little bit more challenging. Let me again, let me just clear this screen for us. Okay, so the first thing that we wanna do is we want to search for the script location on our machine because we need to have the actual name of the script and the argument. You can go back up in the scripts section and you can read more about this. So I'm just gonna breeze through to show you guys how to do that. So first thing that I did up in that section, it told me the um, folder where nmap stores the scripts. So we're gonna change directories and we're gonna to go to that section right now, which is user share nmap scripts, enter. So now that I'm in that folder, I'm gonna do ls to list all the files there, but that gives me too many. So instead I'm gonna do ls, who wants to look through all that? And then asterisk ftp asterisk and that'll show me all the ones that are FTP. And so we see that the actual name of the file is FTP anon.nse. So that's gonna be very important so that we can actually deploy the script. So I'm gonna CD, get back out of this directory to my main directory, and now we're gonna to try to do the nmap. Here, I'll clear this out so it's a lot easier for you guys to see now. So now that we're cleared out, we're gonna do the nmap scan and SC is the one that we use for scripts. And then we're gonna designate the script and we're gonna give the full name, anon.nse, and then where do we wanna deploy this script again? We wanna go against our machine's IP address, which again is right up here at the top. That's the machine that you're currently working in. Okay, so let's deploy that and see. And we're just looking for information. You know, Nmap, it's not gonna help us get into the FTP right now. It's just gonna tell us whether it's actually possible to do that. So let's see what the scan says. Okay, so that took a little bit of time. Just make sure that you give your box time to do the scan. And as we can see right here, FTP Anon was deployed against port 21 and the anonymous FTP login it was discovered is allowed. So your answer down here, and I'm sorry my, uh, my video is blocking it off, but you would just put a Y. Just put, it says to put yes or no. So the answer to that is Y. So there you go. The conclusion is just reading a bunch more information so you can get a greater understanding of this. And that is all that you need to do to finish this practical on the Try Hack Me and Map room. This is, they have several rooms. So this is the one that's created by Darkstar and Neuraland Oracle. So I hope that helps you guys. Uh, stay tuned in for more videos. Bye-bye.